Hi, I am Somesh Kumar, Lead Faculty at Web Marketing Academy, Bangalore. I am here with a great news for advertisers, especially for lead-based companies or especially for B2B companies. Facebook has recently launched a new type of campaign which is called as lead generation campaigns. To these campaigns, within just two clicks, you can start collecting leads directly from Facebook itself. Now I am going to explain you how to create a lead generation campaign in step by step procedure in Facebook. To create lead generation campaigns, you need to go to Power Editor. So once you go to Power Editor, you need to click on Create Campaign. So once you click on create campaign, enter the campaign name and then you need to select the objective. You can see here lead generation campaign. Select that and then choose ad set. So enter the ad set name and then create new ad and enter the ad name. So once you enter the campaign name, ad set name, ad name, click on create. So once you click on create, you can see the lead gen campaign is created. Then go to the ad set level. Once you go to ad set, you need to select the page which you wanted to promote. So I am selecting web marketing academy page and then you can enter the campaign daily budget and you can define your target audiences for whom you wanted to show the ad. Next you can see the lead gen ads are available only in mobile newsfeed. After that you can optimize your campaigns either for leads or you can optimize your campaigns either for clicks. So it is nothing but CPC either for leads or you can optimize for clicks. Once you are done with ad set level then go to the ad level which you can see it in the left hand side and once you click on the ad you have to enter your ad text whatever you wanted to show in the ad copy. Then you need to enter the headline for your ad copy then enter the newsfeed link description once you are done you need to select the image which you wanted to show and once you select the image you can see the specifications below the image also recommended size is 1200 into 628 pixels now you can select the image which you wanted to show in the ad copy then click on confirm so once you click on confirm, you can add call to action buttons for your ad copies. You can see apply now, download, get code, learn more, sign up and subscribe. Now I am selecting sign up. Once you are done, you need to click on create a new form. So you can click on that. You can enter the form name and you can select the language in which you wanted to show the form to the people. So whatever language you select, the form will be shown in that particular language. Once you select the language, click on next. So once you are done with that, then it will ask you to select the fields which you wanted to show in your form. So by default email and full name is selected. Now I am selecting phone number and city. Like this you can add n number of values, n number of fields. Then you can also add questions for your form. So you can see here, so the form have industry specific questions like automobiles, education, e-commerce, B2B. So whichever industry your business is related, you can select those values. So you can select those questions. And you can see you can also add custom questions for your form. So if you are not happy with the questions which has mentioned, you can select type enter your question and also you can enter your answers. So now I have selected one value from the right hand side. You can see when do you want to, when do you plan to enroll for the course. So once you select the question, you can enter your custom answers. So I have mentioning immediately 0 to 1 month like this so now what you can do is after entering each value you need to click on enter so select enter so type immediately click on enter 0 to 1 months click on enter 2 to 3 months click on enter so you can enter add those values and click on enter all these values will be shown in a drop down list for the us users when they are filling the form so like this you can add up to three questions and then click on next so once you click on next, you need to add link for your business privacy policy. Whatever privacy policy you have in your company, you can enter the link 
for that and then click on next and also what you can do is you can also add a link to your website so after once you are done with that you can see the preview of your forms so you can see the values whichever I have entered you can see that and then you can click on next so where people will fill their email full name and next they will select the city and they will select the phone number once they are done with it they will click on submit so you need to click on create form after that now you can see how your form will be shown in mobile news feed and you can also see how your form your ad will be shown in feature phones once you are done with all these things you need to click on upload changes only when you click on upload changes your ads will go live so now i clicked on it so now my ads are getting loaded to the ads manager so once it is done click on done that's all you are done with the campaign now you can see how your ad will be shown in mobile devices when people click on the sign up button a form will pop up in facebook itself where people can select the values which you have given in the form so once you select it then it will auto populate the full name email city everything which facebook already have so it is populating my phone number also once it is done you can click people can click on submit so this is how the process is and it's very simple and if you wanted to check the leads whatever you have collected you need to go to your page and you need to go to publishing tools in publishing tools you can see an option called forms library where you can see all the leads which you have collected you can see we have run the campaign we got three leads and even i can download the leads so if you want to check the performance of your campaign you can go to ads manager under ads manager you can see the campaign the results reach cost how much i have spent for each lead so thank you guys for watching this video if you find this video useful please share it on facebook and for more videos please visit web marketing academy facebook page